Welcome back. Despite some amazing advances in technology, hurricanes are still hard to predict. And there's always a chance you won't get a lot of warning when one is coming our way. That's why it's very important to have a hurricane kit ready to go now. WSAV's Christine Qualey has some tips on how to get your emergency supplies in order. When a hurricane is on the way and your elected officials tell you it's time to get out, that's something you need to do sooner rather than later. But there are some essentials you'll want to have on hand in order to be able to pack up and hit the road. So some of the things that we encourage people to keep in their emergency preparedness kits for their houses are batteries, flashlights, non-perishable food items, a hand cranked can opener um, for times of power outages, uh, any kind of emergency, maybe medical kits or documentation. So now that we know what we should have in our emergency kit, why don't we go ahead and build one? The first thing you're going to want to do is get some first aid emergency supplies. So let's look right here, see what we have. Um, so probably some bandages. It's going to be like a little what's in my bag, get ready with me kind of thing. So you're going to want some band-aids, some other emergency first aid supplies, maybe something like gauze, never know what's going to happen in the case of an emergency, uh, different for everybody, definitely some Advil, some pain relief, uh, things like that, Neosporin for small cuts, all these different things because you know as officials mentioned, you don't know how long you're going to be away from your home. So emergency kit, uh, emergency supplies for medical stuff, first things first. Pop tarts, maybe possibly something like that. And you know we're talking about building an emergency kit for all different types of people. So here's the section that we want, something like some canned goods, maybe like some mixed vegetables, maybe, you know, some, if you like tomatoes, things like that. We, we got to get all those fruits and veggies in there. So we got to have all the fruit groups, food groups, I should say. So maybe like some sliced pears, something like that. You're going to want to have access to clean water when there's a natural disaster like a hurricane. You know, power might go out. You might lose access um, to running water wherever you are. So you're going to want to have some stuff like this. Um, so we're going to pop this in the car. It's getting pretty full in here. You're honestly going to probably want two of these. These are pretty heavy. So just, just from my perspective. Other items you might want to include that you can pick up at the store are toiletries, towels, and any prescribed medications. Be safe. That's the number one thing. Be as safe as you can and be as prepared as you can be. So uh, this is our kit. I guess we're going to go ahead to check out.